Hi there, this is the third of three videos on creating league tables and ranking things in Excel. Let's have a look at what we've done so far. In the first of these three videos, we understood how to create a simple rank formula, and that's going to help us understand where something sits in relation to other things. Then in the second video, we understood how to use the rank formula and combine with two more formulae, which are match and offset, to create something that's beginning to look like a league table. So now we're in a situation where we have a basic lead table. However, there's a couple more issues that we have to deal with to get our lead table uh, working really well, to finish our lead table. One of the issues we're going to have a look at today, and before I get into this, remember you can download this file from our website. If you go to the Target Spreadsheet Solutions website, you can work along with me. One of the issues we're going to look at is how to deal with equal values. So if we have two students with the same grade or if we have two football teams with the same number of points, how do we separate them and how do we get Excel to do that for us? Now we can take a look at this example. I use the term increment to describe a number that we're going to use to separate teams. Now in uh, everyday language we might use a term such as goal difference in football or some kind of um, term in education that you might use to separate students. You might be separating students in terms of alphabetical order. Okay. Now I've just put some increments here, um, which are numbers that I've assigned to each student. Uh, but this could be uh, the goal difference for each team, for example. We're going to combine this increment with the student's grade to give them a new figure. And that figure is the figure we're going to use uh, to rank them. Why do we do this? Because this is going to avoid students having the same value. It's going to avoid equal values, which means we're going to be able to create a complete league table. So very simple. I'm going to add the grade and the increment together to give us a total. And then I'm going to double click to autofill that formula down. So we now have totals, which are the combination of the grade and the increment that we've assigned to that student. Now we can re-implement the rank formula. And remember, you can go back to the first video if you need to be reminded on how to do this. Uh, with rank, we need to um, give Excel the number we're looking at. We need to give Excel the range that we're looking at. And we fix the range as an absolute range using the F4 key. We can see that the dollar signs have appeared. Comma again, and zero for descending order, which means we're going from um, high to low. Okay, so let's hit return there and a quick sense check. That looks sensible. And then uh, I've just autofilled that formula down and as we can see the ranks uh, seem to be working and we don't have any equal values. That's the important thing to note. There's no equal values and that makes the whole thing much easier to manage. Okay, now we can go on to exercise four. I'm not going to complete this for you. Um, I'm going to leave you to do this, but we're only reapplying techniques that we've used ourselves so far. Okay, so certainly um, try to complete this yourself. Again, you need a match formula and an offset formula, and you can refer back to the exercises, exercises we've already done in order to, uh, to review those. Okay, great. So that should give you a working uh, league table in Excel. Now this is something that I'm asked to do a lot, we're asked to do a lot here at Tiger, and it's something that people are trying to do a lot generally, ranking sports teams, ranking students, things like that. So it's a good example of how you can apply Excel formulae, Excel techniques to solve a real world problem. So best of luck with it and let us know how you get on.